Hey guys, this is Xenomix, and as you can see, TechKid183 requested a tutorial to show him how to create repeating text on Photoshop. So I'm going to show you how to make repeating text for any document on Photoshop. Now there's many, many different ways of how to do this. So I'm going to go to Control N, or I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to create a 500 pixel by 500 width and height so it's a square now I'm gonna just um, you know I'm, I'm basically gonna show you a design because he sent me an icon and he wanted to know how repeating text was made on that so I thought I'm gonna replicate the design which I saw so I'm gonna just paint the background here with a cool purpley color create a new layer go to T here and I'm going to type P right I'm going to go to the cursor tool click once so I'm on the transform control menu so I'm on the transform controls hold shift and increase the size like that. If you cannot see the square, you need to have this selected. Show transform controls. Right, okay. So I think this is big enough. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to click. So I'm on the transform controls. I'm going to tilt it like so. Maybe increase the size just a bit more. And tilt it backwards. Put it in the center. So now I'm going to color this. Give it a kind of, you know, kind of pinky color. I'm going to right click, go to blending options. This is not the thing for repeating text, it's just showing you where you can use repeating text and the styles and the effectiveness of the ability to create repeating text. So I'm just going to add a drop shadow to it, increase the size a little bit, maybe change the drop shadow's color to kind of like a dark reddish color, add bevel and emboss, increase the soften, increase the size, and as you can see there's black here, we want to get rid of that by changing the color like so, and as you can see it's got a nice simple effect done in under a minute. Right, okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do repeating text. The idea is to get repeating text behind P. So let's say, for example, this person's called Pete, right? So I'm going to go to T once again, and I'm going to click here. I'm going to write Pete, right? So I'm going to go to the cursor, so I'm going to drag this to the middle. Now, there's many different ways I can replicate and duplicate Pete's name and put it in the background. So one way is to control J drag it down by holding shift, control J, drag it down by hold it shift, and then what I can do, I can highlight all of them by holding shift and clicking here, so I've got all three selected, and I can choose that the difference between them is equal, so this is equal to this. And then I can merge them, so I'm going to press enter, I'm going to merge them, and now all this is simply one layer, and then I control J that, so I'm duplicating it, put it down here, and then I can do the same procedure, make sure that this is equally, make sure that, that there's an equal difference between the two. And I can control E to merge those both layers. Now this is just one. And then I can do control J and move it to the right. And then I can merge this layer once again. And as you can see that there's a pattern to this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click. So I'm on the transform controls. I'm going to tilt it sideways like this. I'm going to try and get the tilt so it's exactly like the P's tilt. So I'm going to show the P by clicking on the I, right? Right, there we go. I've more or less got it right from the first try, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and get it as accurate as possible. That looks fine. So I'm going to press Enter, and I'm going to hide this once again. And now I'm going to duplicate this, Control j add it to the top like so. Maybe I can do this to just give it a bit of a change. Control g Control j once again. Add something here, control J, add something here, and finally the top right corner. And now I'm going to merge all these peat ones. I'm going to show the P layer. I'm going to make sure that the P is on top of peat, right? Now I'm going to hide this, so I'm going to lower the opacity. And as you can see, the desired effect of repeating text is shown. Simple as. Now, if you think that that particular method was too time consuming then we can just use another method which is to simply go to T and highlight the area that you want the text to be in and what I usually do I go to notepad and write Pete for example right and then I highlight Pete with a space at the end so I'm highlighting this as you can see there's a space at the end I'm gonna do control C and control V control V just keep clicking as you can hear it and control A so I'm selecting all of it, control C so I'm copying it and I'm simply going to paste it here and it automatically fills itself in the box which I've allocated but as you can see it's big and there's only three of them because the font size is too large 
and now I just press OK and as you can see it's automatically put itself like that and I can mess around with the style, with the settings and everything. I personally prefer that method, the one which I showed you here, because I think you have more freedom in selecting exactly where each kind of, uh, you know, word goes. Remember, just to remind you again, there's many other different ways. These are, that, what I think, are the simplest methods. I hope this video was clear, easy to understand, and helpful. If you did like this video, make sure to check other videos on Xenomist Tutorials channel. Thank you very much for watching.